All right, hello. Today what we're working on is we are working on figuring out how to compute the present value of an ordinary annuity. And with an ordinary annuity, remember that the payments come at the end of the time period. So this is the one that we're going to be looking at most of the time. Uh, we can mostly not focus on the annuity due as much because the ordinary annuity is the one that you're going to see the most often. Okay, so remember an annuity is a series of fixed payments that come at fixed intervals. So we're going to have payments here. Let's say we're going to have payments. We're going to have $400 payments in the amount of three payments that are coming, all $400, and we're going to say we have a discount rate of 5%. Okay, so what this means is that we have a three-year $400 annuity, a three-year $400 annuity, which means that we're going to have payments. We're looking at our time periods here, okay? And what that means is that we're going to have payments that are coming in. So a three-year $400 annuity means that our first payment is coming in one year. It's coming at the end of this time period, right? So we have a $400 payment here, we have a $400 payment in year two, and then we have a $400 payment in year three, okay? What do we have coming in year four? Nothing, there's a big goose egg out here in year four. Why isn't there anything coming in year four? Because it's a three-year annuity, okay? So we have the three-year annuity, nothing coming in year four. What do we have coming right now? Nothing. Once again, we have a three-year annuity time coming in year one, year two, and year three. Okay? Now, we have all of these mapped out in, along our cash flow diagram. Now what do we have to do? Now we have to bring these back to a present value. Bring these back to evaluation today, right now. Okay? And so all of these are coming back to time zero, right? Why are we looking at this at time zero? It's because we're trying to figure out what the value is to us right now. Okay, that's what we're talking about, present value. What is our value right now, right this minute? And we're looking, because we're looking at these future payments, right? We're getting $400 in one year, we're getting $400 in two years, we're getting $400 in three years. What are all these payments worth to us right now? Okay, now the important thing right here is that what we have to do is we have to discount these. And the way we're going to discount them is we are going to take that $400 payment and then we're going to do the over 1 plus R, right? So we're going to have over 1.05 to the first, plus we're going to add in the second time period $400 over 1.05 to the second. And then we're going to add in the $400 over 1.05 to the third, okay? So, um, what we're going to do here is that basically this is taking three different lump sum applications, okay? And when we add all these up, is that this payment in the first time period is going to be 380.95, second period is going to be 362.81, and the third period is going to be 345.54. Okay, and then we add up these three lump sums, and that tells us that our present value is going to be equal to $1,089.30. Okay, so we just took, essentially, we're taking those three lump sum payments, and we are adding them up. Okay, and then that's going to come up with us that present value of $1,089.30. All right, so there is a simpler way of doing this, okay? Uh, because we don't have to necessarily do each individual payment. If we're going to put this into an equation format, is that there is another equation that we can use, and I'll draw this out for you. We have the amount of our payment. So this is how much the payment's going to be coming in. And this is going to be multiplied by 1 minus 1 over our 1 plus R, our discount rate, the number of time periods over R. So let me explain this real quick. This R that we're looking at right here, that's still our discount rate. That T is the number of payments that we are receiving, okay? And then this payment is the amount of the payments, right? We have three payments of $400. So we're gonna have the $400 out here, one minus one over 1.05 to the third power divided by 0.05. And if you would like to take a guess at what this adds up to, this adds up to $1,089.30. Okay? So that's another alternative way that we can do this, and we can plot it out there. 
okay? 